Hey, it's Sarah, and today I want to talk to you about TPR and speech therapy. So TPR and speech therapy don't normally go together. Um, it's something that a lot of teachers who are teaching a foreign language use. And what it refers to is it's an acronym for total physical response. And what that means is that when, so, so we're talking about a teacher who's teaching a kid a foreign language. So we're assuming that the kid already has like the concept. So for example, if a student was learning the word for elephant in another language, they would mimic the elephant with their physicality. Whether they would go like this, whoo, um, and then they'd say the word elephant in whatever language they might be teaching. Now, I've been thinking a lot about TPR as it relates to speech therapy, in particular, teletherapy. Because when I'm behind a screen working with kids, I need to use my body so much more than I ever did when I was in the schools. And the reason, well, I'm still in the schools, but I mean, so I only have my face and my hands and other things that I could use like props don't have that, not, not manipulatables like I did in the past. So that's why um, I think TPR is really valuable for the teletherapist. So one strategy I do a lot, and this is part of TPR, is I will say something and then I'll go like this. So I will say, um, you know, I'll ask a question, I'll wait for a response, I'll go like this. Um, maybe they'll be talking, I'll go like this. I use, a, that is a, a cue to get the kids talking louder, maybe saying it again, knowing that I'm an active listener to what they're saying. So that's one really basic TPR gesture that I use. Um, I like using a lot of gestures. When I ask kids to, and since I work in Spanish, I'll say, dime una oración. When I say oración, which means sentence, I always hold my hands like this. Dime una oración. And I'm kind of pulling my hands apart like this. Like, I want something more. I want something bigger. So I'll, I'll use my hands to do that gesture. Again, I feel like that's a really powerful visual cue when learning something a new skill for a kid that maybe instead of typically they're answering with one word responses i need more speech therapy is all about expanding that language using a longer utterance um so i'll go i'll do that one i pretty much do that almost in every single session multiple times so kids kind of learn that i want more out of a, a response um because that's what i'm always doing Oracion, oracion. Um, yeah, so that's another thing I do. I do a lot of facial expressions. Um, when we're talking about emotions, I'm gonna be really acting like sad or happy. Um, typically, one thing I do that I never did in the schools, when I was in the schools for 10 years, I almost, I almost never did this, which was just smiling all the time. The thing about a screen is that if you don't smile, you look kind of like angry. And it's it's one of those things like when you're in person, you don't get that vibe. So I didn't, I, now that I have that video, like that, it's almost like a visual biofeedback, looking at a little bitty like inset of my own face for an entire session. I have to like keep track of what my face is doing. So I'm almost always putting on a big smile, you know, I'm engaged, we're here together, because if I don't smile, look how serious I look. I mean, it's not motivational to them. So yeah, I think it's important, if you want to read more about TPR, I definitely suggest Googling it. There's plenty of information out there. And even though it's meant for like a student that already has, let's say, that vocab word or that language concept, I think it's really important for kids who don't have a new word and they don't have it in any language, to get that visual idea, representation of that word so that they can learn it too. So I love your feedback about what you think about TPR. If you've ever, I wanna know if you've ever heard about TPR before and if you think about how it relates to speech therapy. 
When I first heard about it, the only thing I thought was about how when I have kids who don't know a word and I ask them a question or we're working on something and they try to, they try to pantomime. I think it's very natural to try to pantomime something. They will try to pantomime whatever it is, the action, and um, I think that's a natural way to learn. So I'd love to hear what you think. Have an awesome day.